Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is my SQL Shorts. Today, we are going to talk about the enum data type. This data type is useful when you want to store a value from a specific list of values. This list of values is defined when the column is created or updated. Let's take a look at the syntax for creating an enum column. For this demo, we are going to create a table to store information about pets. This table will have three columns. ID, which is the primary key, name, which is the name of the pet, and type, which is the kind of animal the pet is. This is our enum column. When we create an enum column, we specify the values that can be used. Here we have dog, cat, hamster, snake, and other. An enum column can have a maximum of 65,535 different elements. One way to insert data into an enum column is to pass a string value that matches one of the allowed elements. Using a typical insert statement, we create a new row where the pet's name is Murphy and the type is dog. Let's do select star from pets to see the data that was added to the table. Another way we can insert data into an enum column is by using the index of the value in the list. For this query, we are inserting a pet with the name nibbles and passing the value three as an integer. When we do select star from pets again, we will see the value inserted as the pet type for nibbles is hamster. So what happens when we try to insert a value into an enum that is not part of the list of allowed values? Well, that depends. If strict SQL mode is enabled, you will receive a data truncation error like we see here. If strict SQL mode is not enabled, MySQL will insert an empty string into the enum column. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.